Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So today in this video, we are going to learn about a new unit that is called as a production and cost analysis. And the unit one and unit five are I have shared already, which is a uh, some of the balance sheet and financial record problems in the unit five. In the first unit also I have shared. So we are now we are going to do the unit two. This is the production and cost analysis unit. And in this some of we are cover about the topics of production and how the cost is done on the product. And in this we have a two parts. We have divided into two parts to for better learning. So first part is that about the production, how the production is done, and how what are the production functions. And next to this see MRTS that is called as the margin rate of technical institution, technical substitution. Sorry. And third one is least cost of combination input. Fourth one, law of returns to the scales. And next one which is see internal external economics of the scale. This is the first part. And coming to the second part, it's all about the cost. So that is cost analysis, cost concepts, P B E A B E P. That is break even analysis. And next one is break even point. So we have some of them, some of the small problems on this break also. So we'll go through it now. First one we will in the first part we'll go through now. That is the function. That is the production function will go. And what is the production? As we all know about the product production in the we are seeing in our daily lives. So what is the production? Production is that whatever the products are each, I mean, we are launching to the market for the sale. So we are using daily some of the products right in our daily life. So whatever the company or a factory is going to release into the market for sale and to get the money, that is called as a production. So they it has some of the functions, the production functions. So how this production is going to be expressed? So the production function is going to be expressed the relationship between the output and input, the relationship between output and input. So if there is an input, we are going to expect some of the output. So what is the input we can expect? Like uh, some of the if we keep in a like chair wooden chairs like factory, so we want some of the wood and uh, coloring that and some of the in the workers everything will be there. There will be a workers, there will be a I mean capital, there will be organization, there will be labor. This all is called as the inputs. What is the output? That is the quantity. How much after all these inputs working and inputs of the combination, what is we get is called as the output. So there is a relationship between the output and input. This is expressed as a production function. So this is all about in the at the particular time period we consider it as. So it has some of the prom, formula that is Q is equals to F of A B C at last D. So what is Q here? Quantity, which is the output. Quantity of output, and we have that A B C and D and right. That is land, labor. Capital and last organization. These are the inputs. If there is nothing, like if there is no land, we can't run our business, right? We can't install our factory. We can't work. So if there are no labors, if capital, if these are all the inputs which are which will be resulting in giving the outputs. So this will bleeds to giving in the output of the quantity in the terms of the quantity. So in here in the formula, it's there is no showing of the how much the output is given. Means here they said just that quantity of output. They did not mention the how much the quantity of the output is given here. So there is no quantity, right? So we are giving with another formula that is y is equals to a plus b of x. Here y is what it is the output. produced and it's not only output produced this giving how much the output is given that is amount of the output produced and what is x here input so here in this formula we are giving the relationship means how much the output is produced by giving the some of the inputs like we are using land labor and capital and organization by using all this input how much the quantity is produced the amount of quantity is produced is given by this formula between the output and input 
so what what is your so whenever the input is changes the output also may change and may not be changed so if you are giving the less less inputs like less labors and less work and le, it's like less capital also there will be a, uh, result also will be less means that means if there is a change in input there will be automatically change in the output so variable there will be variable or means it will be continuously varying if we uh, change the inputs right so this is all about the production function just we should remember about the formula and uh, whatever the if we want amount of the quantity its output we should write this formula this is the just introduction to the production function and next in the next videos we are going to learn about the other topics like mrts and least cost of combination is all topics we will be covering in the next video